So basically, we, we were going to say, um, these are some sight words. We want you to read them as quickly and accurately as you can. So they'll go on my be old, warm, bone, most spell. Good. So then we go to the actual words and say, you're going to do that same approach here quickly and accurately. If you don't know a word, skip it and move on. When you're finished the first column, go to the second and third. Okay. And then we will start and the child will go is up cat red me to no wet. So I'll make a note uh, for we be so whatever. I'll just make a note of the words they miss and they may get to open. And so I put down, I get open count how many correct. And then I go to the sheet, the, the uh, sheet, let's say, the, um, and I look at. The open is 37. Grade level sheet. Okay. So let's say, can you enlarge that? About two or three times. Okay, well, we can see it. It's like, uh, I see. So you get to the number. Thank you. Yeah. So let's say they get 22 words to 25. That's at 7.9. Now, if you got a fifth grader there, they're in big trouble. That tells you their site, their word form area is not firing. If they're at a 60 to 61 on site word, that's at fourth grade. That's not bad if he's a fifth grader. Okay. Okay, but the main thing is that how many, how long is it that you, 60 seconds? 45 seconds. 45 seconds, okay. You time and them then, for, go ahead. And then basically we just go find out the number and then we just write in the sheet, the grade equivalent and the- Right, so that's, that's our A, put down the date, he scored uh, 3.4. That's all you need to put. You can put okay. the number if you want, but it's the grade level we want is 3.4 or whatever it is. Okay, so the, the, the big thing you're getting across, it's a slight modification, is that we want you to read as quickly and accurately as you can and tell them some kids will pause at the end of the column. So we said when you finish the first row, keep going. First column, keep going. All right, now let's go to the nonsense test. Uh, real quick, what about if they have they got to 30, not word 37, but they had four errors? How do you account for that? The 33. You just minus it, okay. You minus it, right. Minus the errors, okay. All right, so let's go to the nonsense test. This first sheet is for the grade, and then if you go to the second sheet, this is for the age, but it works the same way. Okay, and, so and what, do you, do what do you want us putting in the book, grade or age or both? Both. Both. Now the nonsense test has something tricky. Okay. We would call B A Bay, but the test will accept ba. So for open syllables, it will accept the long A or A sound. So if a child goes ba or bay, it's correct. Um, fa, scan, rup. Nas, blood. You're going to say, we're going to read these nonsense words that don't make any sense as quickly and accurately as you can. Okay. And if you don't know it, skip over it. When you finish the column, go to the next. Are you ready? Now this, you got to be really tuned into the same with it because they move quickly. So you may be just putting a mark down for their mistakes. Uh, and make a note later on. But if a child is reading it pretty quickly, you could be like writing down ga and they're already here and you can't. So if they get that, they call that ga, that's correct, or gay. If they call this okay, you'd put a mark down that they got one wrong. And so you time them for 45 seconds and this is where kids will really crash. Okay, this is a great pre-post test. My tests are done as part of weekly uh, management. Um, so they get, they try 20 and they get 14 right. So let's go to the scoring. This is 45 seconds again. 45 seconds. Thank you. Now we're looking at this one over here. Yeah. All right. So let's say they got a 
a 44. 7.6. Okay, so if we have a child who's a seventh grader who's scoring around 6.5 or so in his reading, 7.4, that's telling you his phonics is pretty sound. He may be a Bep, Pep Baker kid where we don't do the phonics, we go right to syllable work. Maybe. So we'll look at his other tests. If his sight word was also around seventh grade, I, I would be, I would say this kid is at a high level. His phonics is pretty good. We're going to go to Pep Baker and do the six syllables and just follow the order of Pep Baker. Once okay. we're done with Pep Baker, we're going to transfer this to a novel. That would be my diagnosis. Okay. 